<laughs> well, all right. Well, good morning to you, viewers. Let's begin what's trending by highlighting two Nigerian Amazons. Ngozi Okonjo-Iwela, who is the Director General of the World Trade Organization, and media mogul Mo Abudu, both have made the Forbes list of the world's 100 most powerful women. A DGWTO should be on merit. If that person happens to be a woman, great. If she happens to be African, great. I hope it's a sign not only to women and girls in my country, but to women and girls worldwide, that the world is ready and women can do it. It's been really inspiring and encouraging to just to see so many different women together who are all doing different things, but the common purpose is that we just want to just add value to whatever it is that we're doing. Well, the Forbes list was released on Tuesday, and it includes 100 women who have performed excellently well in various fields such as business, media, politics, entertainment, and technology. Okonjo Iwela, who has worked for the World Bank, Nigeria's Ministry of Finance, and the World Trade Organization, has been vocal about how economies can become more inclusive when women's unique experiences are considered in economic planning. The magazine hailed Mo Abudu as a media mogul and philanthropist who has changed the game in Nollywood as the founder of Ebony Life Media, with a slate of films that includes The King's Horseman and The Wedding Party and much, much more. I mean, congratulations to both of them. I was so proud to see that whole list. I mean, there are a lot of people that were there. You know, in fact, Taylor Swift also made the list. She actually made history as the, one of the entertainers, the first entertainer, actually, to make that list of 100 most influential or powerful women in the world. Congratulations to both of them. I am so proud to be affiliated also with Moa Budu, who is a filmmaker. Yeah. Ayo. Absolutely. It's a great day for Nigeria and it's a great day for Nigerian women. And I believe that at this point we need as, as many headlines that are positive as, pos as possible, especially on the global stage. And Dr. Ngozi okonjo stays putting Nigeria on the map, on the global map, very positively. Beyond that is the fact that she has become a, an icon, a role model for young and older women in Nigeria. If you recall when she was first appointed as DG of WTO, when young girls on social media were doing the um, Ngozi Okonjewala challenge and tying her head tie, it is giving hope to the Nigerian girl and boy, to be fair, young person that you can make your way in life through legitimate um, ways and doing things by through hard work work and be excellent at what you put your heart to doing. And I think that's a message that needs to be promoted more and more in light of the kind of role models that we see, you know, and I put that in, in, in asterisks, that we see um, today on social media. So it's really great to see that happening. And also for Mo Abudu, especially through, because the future of uh, work, Oji, is beyond the formal route. Yes. So it's just a beautiful um, contradiction in terms of, you know, going through finance, had such an illustrious career. Yes, Moabudu started in that line as well, but now going into the entertainment industry. Yeah. And I think it shows or portrays what the future of entertainment in Nigeria is going to be. Entertainment, we've talked about the revenue opportunities in entertainment, but also to see that people in entertainment, moguls, businesswomen, are also getting recognized on a global stage. It's been a fantastic year for both of them, and I am so, so glad that Nigeria is being projected positively. I look forward to seeing more women and men yes. you know, on lists like this. So congratulations. To to say, we look forward to seeing more men. Dr. Abati wants well, to say something. Congratulations uh, to Aonu Ngozi Okonjo Wela and also Mo Abudu, uh, who made the Forbes list. And also to all the other women on that 100 uh, uh, person list. Uh, this is that time of the year yes. when you know media houses publish the people who have made the most impact uh, in the year. And uh, Taylor Swift, whom you refer to, is number five on the first mm -hmm. list. But she's the person of the year mm -hmm. for Time magazine. She is also the person of the Being, year for Time you know, magazine. Uh, yeah, that, she's doing uh, well. That performance, yes. that performer, that entertainer, whose appearance in certain countries moved the GDP up, you know, just to show you the power of entertainment, the power of talent. And there are other women also on that list. 
Giorgia Melei, the uh, Italian uh, Prime Minister. Um, um, Rihanna is there. Beyoncé is there. Uh, Ursula von der Leyen, the President of the European Commission, is there. Christine Lagarde mm -hmm. is there. You know, such a long list. And then Babi, who also made the list in uh, the Time magazine, uh, the short list, you know, was also mentioned there. And I, for a moment, I was wondering whether Babi is a human being. <laughs> but when I watched the movie, I thought the narrative is about Babi coming from the fictional world yeah. into the real world. So yeah. effectively, Babi, you know, being recognized by Time magazine mm -hmm. and also by, uh, you know, the uh, uh, fourth list uh, shows the meaning of this. In 1982, a British playwright called Carrie Churchill wrote a play called Top Girls. The whole point of Top Girls is to show how women have redefined the role of women in society. How certain women have shown example of how women can reach the top, break the ghastly, destroy prejudicial notions of patriarchy. So you now find Top Girls in virtually every field. And I think it is gratifying to see that every year, Nigeria also has on the list of women who are great ambassadors. Uh, Okonjo Iwela in finance, economics, international public servant, from World Bank to leading in Nigeria to uh, the WTO, where she has become a very strong voice. Yes. And Moabudu, a self-made entrepreneur, who has shown very good example, either it is with television presentation or with uh, the films that she has produced. At the moment, I think she's in partnership with uh, Netflix. Mm -hmm. So she's even gone really international. And become, she has become a source of inspiration, a role model for other women. What Ngozi Okonjo Wala and uh, Moabudu have shown is that you, every girl can do it. So that girl child that is uh, you know, discriminated against in Nigeria, looking at the example of Moabudu and Ngozi Okonjo Wala, we realize that they too can do it. To and government. it's not uh, surprising that a few years ago, you know, women, young girls started copying uh, Ngozi Okonjo Wala's uh, trademark uh, headgear because they want to be like yes. her. So congratulations to both of yes. them and all the others on the first list. Well said, Dr. Bati. Power to the women. Oh, I, uh, I, love <laughs> I look forward to seeing you on the list next year. Same, same with you. Yes, <laughs>